Ciao! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Divya. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm gonna do another makeup video. I'm gonna do a makeup video which is out of my comfort zone because I used to natural makeup and neutral eyeshadow. I'm gonna to do maybe a colorful eyeshadow look. I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna to do. But before we're gonna start the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and also like this video and also follow me on my social media. And yeah, let's start the video. First, I'm gonna moisturize my face and for moisturizer, I'm gonna use Innisfree Jeju Cherry Blossom Jelly Cream. Uh, it's a Korean moisturizer. I got this from yesstyle.com. Of the moisturizer, we're gonna use a sun cream. So this is Aloe Susan Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 by Colorex. It's a Korean sunscreen. Uh, I got this from yesstar.com. Most of my skincare I got from yesstar.com. If you want to have some Korean product. You can check that website. I'm gonna leave the link below if you're interested. Next step is I'm gonna use a L'Oreal In Fiber Pore Refining Primer. For the foundation, I'm gonna to use a Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I have to break the pan because it's nearly done, this one. You have to start everywhere, but you don't have to this. To blend the foundation, I'm going to use a blending brush. I'm gonna move to the eye now. Uh, I'm gonna use this eye hot evolution macaroon palette, and this is my least favorite eyeshadow palette because it contains a lot of shimmer shade, and also it is very colorful palette. So I'm more I like to use more neutral uh, neutral eyeshadow like this one. This one is uh, Eye Hot Revolution Nude Palette. In this one, it contains a lot of warms and neutral colors in it, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. So I prefer palette like this rather than this colorful one. I don't wear colorful eyeshadow and go outside. I prefer my neutral eyeshadow, so I will try to create a look with this eyeshadow palette. Also, I'm gonna use this little palette of Lizzie Squad palette. This is by Bobbi Brown because on this one we don't have any a lot of matte eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use this one for deeper color there's only one deeper color in this one this one i'm gonna use it for outer corner maybe still don't know what i'm going to create but first of all let me prime my eye i'm gonna use a revolution super Style conceal and define full coverage concealer on my eye lids Okay, so 
For the first shade, I'm gonna use this shade over here, which is called chocolate on my face. smaller blending, blending brush and I'm going to use this color Heavenly Bite I'm going to put that on the crease also to deepen up the crease a little bit keep blending to make it soft so which is kind of a bit flat but also fluffy a bit so I'm gonna use that and, and this time I'm gonna use a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette of quad one and I'm gonna use this dark brown color over here and this one is called Cocoa number 30 so I'm going to take that color and put that into the outer corner of my eye. So you take this and blend the edges to make the eyeshadow look a little bit soft. Very gently, just blend out the edges. And I'm gonna take a flat brush like this to cut the crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer. And now I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm not the expert on doing cut the crease. I hope I do that right. Something like that. 
And now I'm gonna put some colorful eyeshadow on this cut crease. So I'm gonna take the macaroon palette again and I'm gonna use a color. I'm gonna take this color over here, Nom Nom. It's a blue. It's a blue eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. And now for the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use this color Diesel. This one over here. Can you see? I'm going to put that into the inner corner. the other eye off camera and then I will come back so I'm back I have done my other eye too and now I'm gonna use a smaller brush okay I'm gonna use this pencil brush over here and I'm gonna use this eyeshadow I don't know if you can see It's for sugar coated and I'm going to use that for my brow bone. And I'm going to use the same shade color in my corner, inner corner, sugar coated. The L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim in the shade Intense Black. I have done my eyeliner and now I'm gonna continue with the face now. So I'm gonna use my concealer. I'm gonna use a Revolution Concealer. Under my eye. So I'm gonna blend that with a real technique sponge. Brush 
I got anything so I call a cocoa and blends on on the lower lash line. black liner and gonna put on in the waterline. And this is this pencil is Maybelline New York color show. I can't see the name of this color but it's a black pencil. Highlighter. I'm gonna take some banana powder by Revolution and put a under my eye a little bit I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lash Infallible 24 hour matte powder to be the brush. And this is a say 225 beige. Next, I'm gonna do bronzer. So I'm gonna use a Revolution Pro HD powder contour. This is shade. So I'm going to use Eye Heart Makeup Dragon Heart. I'm going to use this seed over here and other blush. A little bit on my nose. Next is highlighter. I'm going to use a Revolution Strut Lux Palette. And it looks like this. Uh, this one is broken by the way. This is gold. So I'm gonna use this middle one. on my bridge on my nose so the final step is the lips I'm going to use a mix of matte lip cream in the shade Budapest This is primer high gloss in the shade candy. Okay, so it's all done and this is a final look. I hope I did a good job with the cut crease. This is the eyes. Also, I love my natural makeup look instead of doing this one, and this one you do have to 
create a lot of steps but it's not what I hate but I love it so yeah this is a final look as you can see I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next video bye